quite a run through here to get to the final. And here she is up against number 23 in the world, Pauline Stark. First time in a Grand Slam final, it says. First time in a Grand Slam, possibly. I think so. I, I mean, she's got certainly got no medal uh, to speak of. There's no world ranking whatsoever. Here she is in white. But she's here for a reason, and they've uh, put her out. And uh, the reason is that she's in the final here. And she's beaten uh, class opposition all a couple of years out, possibly a long-term injury from 2019 after the Junior World Championships in Marrakesh, where she lost in the bronze medal match to her team. But uh, it, didn't, uh, it didn't have a landing, I don't think. It was, was nowhere generous. near the uh, 90 yeah. degrees. <laughs> so on two occasions, she's gone up against Terry Lipatiliani. Oh, there it was. Okay. Squeezes one out. On two occasions, she's been up against... She's going right and left here, so uh, both sides. And I think that's going to be a great advantage for her. Still only 19. Centre of balance here, but then just suddenly pops the attack in. And uh, certainly Stark... She's a bit defensive here. Yeah, though. she's uh, too, too defensive. Stark, I was going to say... Yeah, she was quite bent over. They, uh, where they get their warm-up partners. Shido then to who? Three down. Yes, one minute to go here in the first four minutes. Hugh definitely the uh, closest. Doesn't know what to do with it, does she, Starker? It's just, it's, I'm all Grand Prix final. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, very few times that you come to your first ever Grand Slam and come away with a gold medal. Some of the Japanese can, can claim that, but most of the time you have to work your way into it. Well, here is a result for Hu Mimi of the Republic of Korea. Grand Slam, Grand Slam gold medal winner first attempt well we've got a couple of awarding ceremonies to go through before 